Hey YouTube, Shannon and Reggie here for McCann Professional Dog Trainers. And Reggie recently had surgery, which meant that I had to keep him quiet for a few weeks. So I invested in a game. I picked it up at Ren's, uh, Ren's Pet Depot. It's by Dog It, and it's a mind game. And we thought we'd take the opportunity to review it for you guys. Now this one is for small and medium dogs, so be mindful of that. They do have a large version of games as well. You wanna make sure you're getting the appropriate size for your dog. And the nice thing about this one I found is that there's there's actually three different games in one for this. So we'll take you through a little bit of the details of this game. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, there's three different games you can play with this, which I thought was a really nice feature. Um, I picked this up at Ren's Pet Depot for $27.99, so just under $30. It didn't break the bank, that's for sure, and it's a nice little game to have around and have handy for your dogs. So the first game, um, there's these little cups that you put on top of the holes, and you're actually meant to, of course, put food underneath the cups, and then the dog is meant to either pick up the cup or knock it over with his nose in order to get that food out so we'll start off with Reggie here just with the one cup and it is important with games like this that you teach the dog how to do it first so that they're not just getting frustrated with it and smashing things so the first thing that I'm gonna do with Reggie is I'm actually going to show him by me picking up the thing entirely first good boy wait now this one has suction cups on the bottom which is really nice Unfortunately, they don't work with our flooring here, this epoxied flooring, but um, they did work nicely on my wooden floor at home. So I'm gonna start by putting some food just under there. And obviously he already knows what to do here because he's been playing with it for a couple of weeks. But that initial one, I'm going to show him that the food's there. Okay, good boy, good boy. Reg, go lie down, good. Now I might have a few more under the holes, cover those up, okay, and let him find those kibbles. All right, so the second of the game, there's a giant slider that you can put in there, and then the dog has to get used to pushing that around with their nose. Again, take an opportunity just to show the dog how to get to the food so that they're not getting frustrated with this. We want this to be fun and mentally stimulating for them, not frustrating at all. So I am going to stick a few kibbles in here. There we go. I'm gonna cover it with that slider. Okay. And I'm gonna let him figure that out. And he knows how to push that around with his nose and his paws to get in there. So that's a great little toy for him. For the last of the games that's offered with this particular mind game, there's an insert that goes inside and then you can take these covers and they'll actually just slide around really nicely in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. They won't lift out this time. He can't just flick them upwards with his nose. He's gonna have to actually move it a little bit more gently with his nose. So I'm actually going to slide just a couple covered and then leave a couple uncovered so he can get right into that. Good boy, okay. Good, and they do slide really, really nicely. It is a really nice concept that they've put into play here. Good job. Alrighty, so the pros and cons for this dog it mind game toy. I really liked that this is very sturdy. When I initially took it out of the box, I thought, oh, plastic, he's gonna wreck that in a heartbeat. But it's actually held up pretty well, and he's a, he's a tough little nut. He likes to use his paws a lot when he's working with this. So I'm very impressed with how the um, three games turn into each other, how you can go from one game to the next to the next and keep it interesting for the dog. Cons, I don't know that if my dog wasn't on limited activity that I would really use this on a day-to-day -day basis. As much as it was good for him in that scenario, it wasn't really that mentally stimulating for him. I like to uh, play a lot of shaping games and teach tricks and, and work scenting games with my dogs to keep them busy when we have to stay inside. I also wish the suction cups had been a little bit better, especially with a dog that tends to use his paws to move things around a lot. Um, it didn't stick at all to the linoleum floor at my house it did stick to the wood floor though so something worth mentioning if you're if you're thinking about games like that all in all we thought it was a great little game to play with your dog and definitely worthwhile for the price alrighty so that's gonna be it for this product review thanks so much for watching check out McCannDogs.com have a look at our blog and sign up for the newsletter as well so that you don't miss any of our product reviews or great videos we'll see you next time